I'm not sure what time it is right now, but I think it's after sometime three in the afternoon, three thirty, something like that. And you see lots of drones getting out, drone flights. Um, I have a mating meet just up the hill here, and I had to go check it out because it was just a, it sounded like a swarm. To be honest, there's so many bees flying. But it's a, just a mating group with lots of drones, and they're making this this sound times five. <clears throat> Anyhow, today I am going to pull two frames of cap brood from this hive. Uh, hopefully, with emerging cap brood, I'm going to try to find the oldest cap brood I can find, and I'm going to put one frame of cap brood in a mating nuke and another frame of cap root and another mating nuke but the other one I don't know it, it looks like it actually has enough bees in it but there's one definitely needs more bees so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna steal some steal some uh, some, some brood first I got to get some uh, drawn comb to replace the brood that I'm stealing so and I have some drawn comb because it's nice nice fresh drawn comb too because it's from uh, some honey that I just extracted so that'll that'll go down well so I'll go get the uh, those frames and then we'll dig in and hopefully I won't get stung today it's a little overcast but um, and I'm only wearing this but uh, we'll see what happens they seem happy and if the bees are happy and busy then usually they're not very stingy either so looks good okay so this is um, a three no one two three four five it's a five medium hive so the bottom box is uh, pollen trap so that doesn't count so then it's the black one is a, is a medium this is a medium that's a medium and the two black ones on top are honey supers and below, beneath them is a queen excluder so this hive has a three medium brood nest which is like a deep and a half that's plenty size for, they're not going to swarm it's plenty enough room for the queen to lay so I have to remove these two boxes and dig down hopefully I can get some brood out of that that box but it might not uh, it's probably being filled with honey at this time of year. So down here is probably where I'm going to have to get some brood. So I might have to remove three boxes plus a queen excluder. Yeah, could, it could have get. It has the potential to get messy, and hopefully it won't. I don't want to have to put on a bee jacket. It's hot enough as it is. So wish me luck. All right, this is change the view for a second. This is a very good looking. See that fresh. See this stuff here? This is this is freshly this is fresh honey. This is this is this stuff is bulging out. I could reduce this to a nine frames, uh, put nine frames in, the, in a four in a ten frame box and get thicker combs out of it. But it's too late. But anyway, looking great, looking really good. I only plan to take two medium supers from this hive this year because they just don't seem to be making that much honey. There's not a lot of forage in Flat Rock, but. Um, you can see here, this is a fireweed. This is a perfect example of what's happening right now. So we still have fireweed all over the place in Flat Rock. And I know the bees like fireweed, but whenever I look, I see them here. You know, you, I guess they're around, but they're not like com completely covering all the fireweed whenever I see fireweed. But they're out there getting fireweed. And this is the um, goldenrod, which is just starting to come in now. Uh, it actually started coming in about a week ago. And when this stuff kicks in high gear, it's just poof, look out. It's a, it's a major nectar flow. So, uh, I don't know. The last time I checked on this colony, it was, um, I've got the camera right here because that's where I'm digging. I, you don't need to see the top half. Uh, yeah, the last time I checked on this, these bees, they just weren't making that much honey. I had a third honey super on them and they just didn't seem to be filling it. So give them what they need, not more than what they need and you'll get better results usually. It looks like this box is full, so that's lovely. It's also the time of year where they might, if they sense any kind of dearth, they might get defensive. They might, they might say, keep your hands off my honey. This box is heavy. I can tell right now it's heavy. Holy mackerel to death. Oof. This box looks pretty good too. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull any honey, but I'll just take a quick peek. Just by the feel of it, I would say that, that top box is full. This is a foundationless frame, which I love, but it's not full. Just for fun, let's take another, let's take out another frame. Here's another foundationless frame. Oh, 
look at this. Look at that. Lovely. So they they built that up in the past, I don't know, week or a couple weeks. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah, so they, this, this these frames are heavy with honey, but they're not capped. So I'm just going to leave them alone for the next three weeks. And I'm not going to try to push them. I don't want to try to get them to make more honey than they, than they can. The tricky thing with this queen excluder is if it's been here a while, and I haven't touched it for a while, it's just, it can be tricky pulling it off. <clears throat> yeah. And when it gets tricky, you squish bees, and they get stingy, and they sting you in the face. There we go. This is the this is when it gets tricky. Okay. Considering that a lot of uh, the forages are out, this is a fair number of bees. And I can see this cap brood right there, and right there, and right there, and right there. So yeah, I think we're good. So I don't think I'm gonna need to pull another box. I'm just gonna take a quick look at this queen excluder, seeing that there's brood on the top box right next to the queen excluder, it's possible the queen is on the queen excluder. I hope not. Alright, so, I think what we got here is some brood. Let's take a look. This looks really, this queen is really laying quite well. And it's the time of year where they're starting to backfill the brood nest. And what I mean by that, hopefully, I just let me just check for the queen. No. So backfilling the brood nest, this is the brood nest. This is where the queen is laying eggs. And see these cells here, they're all filled with nectar. So it's the time of year where they're bringing in so much nectar and they're preparing for winter that the, where the queen was laying in, near the top of the brood nest, they're starting to put nectar in there and to make honey for, for honey stores going into the winter. So anyway, lots of bees and lots of... I see so much cap brood here that I am kind of tempted to put on an extra, an extra honey box. This is, this is a perfect example of backfilling the brood nest. You can see the uh, this cap brood in the middle. And they're filling in honey as soon as the uh, the brood emerges, and they've got honey on the sides. So it's it's uh, I think once this brood emerges out, they'll definitely fill it up with honey or with nectar. I mean. So I took, uh, I pulled two frames of cat brood that are emerging, and uh, I replaced them with uh, drawn comb, empty drawn comb. But between those two frames of drawn comb, I put another frame of cat brood from another portion of the top box here uh, between those two frames. So I'm actually splitting up the brood nest, and I think that's fine because this is this colony is going absolutely wild, and I'm very tempted to, in terms of brood production. It's very tempting to just put another box on them because there's a lot of brood coming out now. Uh, I'll have to think about it because it's just more work. I think that stuff weighs a ton. Yeah, my camera's getting hot. And... Anyway, I pulled an extra frame of honey from this hive because why not? And I'll just replace it with some drawn comb so 
they shouldn't, the queen shouldn't get honey bound. But a lot of, lot of brood. Some guard bees right here on this honey, guarding their honey. Holy mackerel, that's heavy. Oh. That is heavy. Pretty confident I'm gonna get two honey supers at least. This is plenty for me. 